This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Welcome back to Fight Night for our ongoing tribute to the 2012 United States Men's Boxing Olympic Team. Up next is the team's welterweight, someone we all know, the one, the only, Errol, the Truth Spence Jr. The current world WBC and WIBF welterweight champion got a start in the amateur ranks and defeated our mere young master, Ayman, in the Olympic trials before coming in second place at the qualifying tournament to make it to London. He defeated Mike. Carvalho in the first round, and a cataclysm that almost took place. In almost a mirror image of Rocky Juarez back in 2000, Vikas Krishan Yadav appeared to have literally held on to win 13-11 over Spence in the second round. The U.S. protested, and unlike in 2000, the AIBA actually reversed the decision and awarded four more points to Spence to give him the win. Too bad Spence lost his next fight to Andre Zamkoye, but he didn't win a medal. His pro career was a lot more successful than his London performance. He made his debut on November 9, 2012 on the same card where Rashid Warren, Gary Island, Russell Jr., and Dominic Rizali also fought on. His jun Brazil. Wow. Uh, his junior made a little his junior middleweight opponent would be the three and three Jonathan Garcia. Will Garcia spoil Spence's debut, or will the truth start his career off with a victory? Let's find out. Again, your three judges scoring and re-sign of the 10-point bus system, Ray Corona, David Dinkin, and Fernando Villarreal. When the bell rings, referee in charge of the action, Van Russell. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing green, trimmed in black, he weighed officially 149 and one half pounds. And the professional, his record stands even... He's only 19 years old. Three defeats, one win coming by way of knockout from Aguada, Puerto Rico. Dan makes it to Portland across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing red, white, and blue, he weighed in 149 pounds. Tonight, he makes his professional debut, hailing from Dallas, Texas, a 2012 U.S. Olympian. Here is Elm Spence Jr. Ding, ding, round one. All right, so Spence is the one. Yeah, red, white, and blue. Yeah, USA. Oh. Look at this show box. This was like 10 years ago now. All right, so Garcia goes right in on him. He's not going to waste any time. Everybody agreed was the hardest working member of the United States Olympic boxing team this past year. He was in the gym after everybody left. Yeah, didn't he get penalized for that? That's how ridiculous the uh, U.S. team was at the time. Stayed in the gym extra. I think they were going to fine him or something. Can you go see mommy? No, mommy. Garcia. 
We turn that. Well, Garcia is taking it to him right to the corner, but then Spence counters. Oh, that was a good pop by Spence. Oh, nice combination. Other combination. Yeah, Garcia came out like a house of fire, but Spence weathered the storm. Five seconds left. Ding, ding, in the round. Round two, fight. Garcia is trying to showboat to Spence. Bad idea. Bad idea. A nice body shot by Spence. Oh, he's doubled over, yeah. Yeah, he came out like a house of fire, Spence weathered the storm, and those body punches are taking some juice out of him. He's keeping his gloves down. What is he doing? Spence is just going to tag him. Another combination by Spence. Fifteen seconds left. Ding ding, end of the round. All right, so the seconds actually took forever to get out of the ring, and they were asking if he wants to still go. Well, Garcia says, let's do it. All right, round three. His punches have nothing on him. Hmm. 
first and eight for them. That's about three or four shots. Oh, nice body shot by Spence. Oh, big combination by Spence. He's going to be ready to go soon if this keeps up. He's got his gloves down. What is he doing? Oh, that popped him. Another pop. Oh, three straight uppercuts. Oh, up down he goes. He pops right back up. Oh, look at his face. Better show me something that this fight's over. That's what the referee just told him. No, no, he's done. He's done. He can't do it. Other shot. Not yet. The ref's going to step in. There it is. There it is. That's it. That's it. You're done. And there's your winner. Referee stops contest in the third round. Errol Spence. Oh my god, I haven't heard the song in 17 years. Meet me in the trail. It's going down. Meet me in the ball. It's going down. <laughs> oh my god. Talk about one hit wonder. All right, let me shut that off. We don't need to wait around for the decision. All right, so Spence Jr. wins his first fight. This was just the beginning for him as he would go on to be the world welterweight champion. The loss to Andre Zemkoy boy, in the quarterfinals of the Olympics turned out to be the last loss he would ever suffer. He's booked to defend his belt on April 16th of this year against Jordanis Ugas. Too bad he didn't win a medal in London, but that was a sign of the times. <sighs> how many how many guys have we seen now that have actually won world titles that did nothing in London? So it, it, get, keep that pattern going as we keep going here. So that about does it for this edition of Fight Night. I'll see you next time.